For some reason, Israel is being drawn as a cube in the country ball community. Is this a secret Zionist plot or Hamas propaganda? Or maybe just Nazi disinformation? It turns out it's one of those three I just mentioned. Guess what it is in the comments? And in this video, I'll explain the origin of this meme and different theories and jokes about why Israel is drawn as a 3D cube in the Poland Ball comics. Hey Slavic Vikings, and first of all, why am I making such a goofy video? Well, my last video was on why people draw Poland upside down, and that video is doing really well right now. And one of the comments was asking for me to make this video on why Israel is a cube, and I replied with if it would get 20 plus likes, I would make the video. I should have said like 100 likes or something because it got 20 likes under one day. So now I'm forced to make this video and I really recommend you watch that video since it gives you context on what country balls or Poland balls are, how it originated all the way back in 2009 and it's a overall just a really good intro video for this community. One of the things I mentioned in that video is that country balls are often purposefully offensive and insensitive. And I feel like I have to repeat that in this video since I'm talking about Israel and it's gonna be impossible to not have a bunch of angry people in the comments. So just remember, country balls are trying to offend you, so if you fall to the trap, you're the loser here. And let's get on with the explanation on why Israel is a cube. If you guessed Nazi propaganda, then you would be right, since this meme right here is what created this meme of Israel being a cube. It is over 10 years old, and I'm not sure who made it. It might have been Falco, I'm not sure, but as you can see, it is a very classic joke about, you know, the Germans burning down the Jews, hilarious. But uh, what's more complicated is why the fuck is Israel like a six-dimensional complicated cube and why is German Ball saying Jewish physics? And if you ask people on the internet why Israel is a cube, they will just answer Jewish physics and this originates from this meme, however the real origin is from Nazi science. So as you know, in the 1930s, Germany wasn't the biggest fan of the Jews, but this caused some problems since it turns out that the Jews were good at some stuff and one of those things were physics. Einstein, for example, was a huge scientist from physics who escaped Germany and a bunch of Jewish people, Jewish physicians or whatever they're called, uh, escaped Germany because of the Nazis while being very good at physics, especially nuclear physics. And that's one of the theories on why the US invented the nuclear bomb before Hitler, because so many Jewish scientists escaped to the US. And in the 30s, Germany was trying to cope with this reality of them losing all the great scientists of their nation. So they created this book and community called German Physics or Deutsche Physik. And this book, Deutsche Physik by Philip Leonard, basically disregarded most of modern physics and just labeled it as Jewish physics. And this is where the term originated from. Literal Nazi propaganda or Nazi science, which could be interpreted as propaganda. Whatever it is, it is fascist, it's a bad thing. I'm not a big fan of Nazis, so it's kind of a weird thing that this meme originated like this. However, I must remind you again that this does not mean that the Poland Ball community are a bunch of Nazis. All this means is that they're trying to be provocative, just like how the Polish ball being upside down was provocative. This is yet another level of provocation, annoy the country that you're making comics of. So just remember not to take these jokes too seriously, they're meant to be offensive. And in summary, the origin of Israel being a cube, or specifically a cube that is somehow translucent, like you can see then on these memes that the Israel cube has like different dimensions and you can see through it, that has origin in these German physics where they try to combine different theories, but I'll get into that in a second. And this is the origin of the meme. So it is literally Nazi propaganda against the Jews that caused Israel to be drawn as a cube. 
I thought that the region of Upside Down Poland was bad, but damn. But this doesn't really explain to us why specifically a cube. And well, in the same year that this German physics book to counter Israeli, I mean Jewish physics got released, in the same year the Bronstein cube or hypercube or CGH physics got released, which was meant to be like a theory of theories meant to unify different theories like general relativity, Galileo Newton's theory, classical myth mechanics and a bunch of other shit I don't understand. This is kind of a reach to be honest and I don't think the creator of the meme thought that hard when creating Israel as a cube. So just understand this as Jewish physics. So now you know why Israel is a cube, however, that's not the only theory on why Israel is a cube. There are many different stories on the internet that try to explain this phenomenon and I'll explore them now. One of my favorite theories on why Israel is a cube is the Telefin hat. And if you don't know what this is, it is like a tiny square that Jews put on their head in the middle of the week, or I think the start of the week to pray in the middle of the day. And I think it's kind of funny that they they put like a tiny little cube on their head to pray. And maybe that's why the creator of that first comic made Israel a cube, although I doubt it. But I think it's worth mentioning. Look at this Jewish boy flexing on us while praying. He has this little square hat on his head and he's praying and flexing on us at the same time. I don't know if that's appropriate, Mr. Jewish person. Let's move on to the second theory. And that being this meme I'm about to show you right now. Take a second to watch this. Okay, so like you could see, this is yet another joke about the Germans putting Israel or the Jews into a microwave to burn them, like they gas them or you know, burn them in ovens. A very, very offensive joke, like many comics of country balls are. It's, you know, kind of an overplayed joke, but you know, I get it, let's move on. This next theory is kind of cool because it not only explains why Israel is a cube, but also why it is translucent. And it has origins in the fact that Israel is considered by many to be a created country that is somewhat fake. I am not here to discuss politics or whether or not Israel existed for thousands of years or maybe just 50 years. That is for you to discuss in the comments. And instead, take a look at this meme that explains Israel being a cube. Like you can see from this meme here, America and Britain were playing around after World War II thinking to what to do with the Jews and they created this cute little boy of Israel that wouldn't create any problems in the future. So that's another theory on why Israel is a cube, that being that it is not a quote-unquote natural country and was created so that's why it's a cube. It's also kind of a reach but you know what I mean. Next up we have a real reach and that is the map of Israel. So if you look at Israel on a map, you can see that its borders are somewhat straight. With the Mediterranean to the left being somewhat straight and then the border with Egypt being straight and Jordan being pretty straight. And you know, it kind of looks like a rectangle. So that is also why some jokes say that Israel is a cube because it made itself a cube or a square to be more defensible. This is yet another reach. Just stick to Jewish physics, guys. This next meme gives us yet another theory on why it's a cube. And you can see that Poland is asking it why it's a cube. And you can see that Jewish just likes to cut up the tip of things with their circumcision. And apparently in the country ball world, when little Israel ball is being born, they cut off the edges just like they do of penises in Israel and America for some reason. So yeah, this is a funny one, probably my favorite reason why Israel is a cube, because they're Jewish and circumcised. It's, it actually kind of makes sense, you know? 
Our next theory is very biblical, which is kind of cool. And as you know, in the Bible, the Jews got kicked out from Egypt and like Moses took them to the Holy Land in Israel. I'm pretty sure that's what happened. And this meme you can see right here, it implies that the Jews built the pyramids and in order for them to build the pyramids, they had to be cubes since, you know, circular things roll and to build a pyramid, you have to build them out of cubes. And according to the Bible, the Jews, I believe, were like slaves in Egypt. And I think Moses, I think they got kicked out. Yeah, they got kicked out. And then Moses took them to the Holy Land. I'm pretty sure that's what happened. Cool biblical reference. You can see that the theories on why Israel is a cube are infinite. And just like with the Poland ball, at the end of the day, the underlying reason of why Israel is a cube doesn't really matter since this is just a tradition and a meme. The only reason people draw Israel as a cube is because they saw other memes of Israel being drawn as a cube. It's nothing more than a tradition with some racist roots, but what doesn't have racist roots these days? So this next meme is extremely stupid. I'm not even sure what it's trying to imply. It implies that the Jews got scared of Hitler, so they went to a lab to change themselves to a cube. And I think this is implying that the Jewish community around the world went to the lab to create Israel, which is now a cube, which somehow relates to my past theory on Israel being a cube because it's a created state that didn't exist before. Once again, I'm not debating history here. I'm just here to explain some stupid internet culture meme thing. So yeah, another thing I wanted to say about this meme and many other memes is the thing about Poland Bowl memes and comics using this broken English is actually starting to annoy me since many of these comics are actually hard to understand because of this stupid broken English. Like, I think you should at least prioritize, you know, clear communication when it comes to comics, you know what I mean? Our next theory actually comes from a comment from just five hours ago when I'm recording this. So he asked, isn't, a, isn't it a joke about uh, Kaaba? And Kaaba is like one of the most holy places for Islam, for Muslims. It's this huge black cube that they like walking around and touching and praying to. And I'm not really sure how is this supposed to reference, you know, the Jews. Maybe that since they don't have this Kaaba cube, they wanted to be a cube themselves. But the Jews, they got their own cube. It might just be a little smaller. They have it on their forehead, you know. Every religion needs a cube to be happy. The Muslims got Kaaba, the Israelis got the Telefin hat, and what do the Christians have? Let me know in the comments. So, in summary, there's a bunch of theories on why Israel is a cube. However, the one most real one, I would say, is the Jewish physics, and that being German physics that was meant to counter Jewish physics. And the term Jewish physics comes from the book German physics, were they were they wanted to counter Albert Einstein's physics because you know when the Nazis were popular Albert Einstein was also very popular and he was doing all his theories and amazing work that made him the most famous scientist in the world and the Nazis got jealous and that's why they created the book of German physics where they would constantly call out Jewish physics as being inferior. Let me know if you know any other theories on why Israel is a cube, although I doubt it because I'm pretty sure I covered all of them here. Let me know if you want more videos on country balls since I've thought about moving my channel into the direction of just creating like country ball content. However, it all depends on how much engagement this video gets and the comments and stuff. So let me know what you want in the comments. And if this video somehow gets 500 likes, I know I'm asking for a lot, but also I kind of want to make other videos. So 500 likes for me to explain why the UK is drawn with a top hat and monocle, why Nepal is drawn with two triangles on top of each other, why America has sunglasses on, like shades on, why Kazakhstan is drawn as a long brick, why Singapore is a triangle, and why the Vorfreich is drawn as a long rectangle, but like long as in tall, not wide, why Panama is split up into two, or why Ohio is a monster. I'll combine all of these into one big video if I get 500 likes. 
So yeah. Also like and subscribe if you want more country ball content. And I think it is finally time to address the elephant in the room. And that being the huge controversy going on now in Israel. What is my opinion on Hamas? What is my opinion on the IDF? Who do I support? Israel or Palestine? And the truth is that one of the sides is doing some awful things, awful unjustifiable things. How could they have done this? And the side that I support is 